rated at 97 points, 94 points from very well-known critics like Jeb Dunnick, Venus. Do you think Booker Tempranillo stands up to the mark? Let's check it out. How you guys all doing? So today we are gonna review the Booker Tempranillo 2017. Has been rated widely by most of the critics. Wine Spectator, they gave it at 92 points. Wine Advocate gave it at uh, 92 points. Venus put it at 94. And Jeb Dunnick actually gave it at uh, 97 points. So really excited to pop the cork and taste the wine and share with you what what I think about it. So Booker Tempranillo um, is made by well-known Eric Jensen, a big name in uh, the Paso Robles wine scene. You all have heard about my favorite neighbor, The Fracture, Harvey and Harriet. So this is one more from him, it's a Tempranillo. So this is actually a grape normally found in Spain. It's, a, it's an indigenous grape from Spain. And this one is actually grown in Paso Robles. So, you know, when I talk about a Spanish Tempranillo, I'm looking for minerality. I'm looking for that finesse. I'm looking for that bouquet. Let's see if the Tempranillo from Booker stands up to the mark. Also about this thing is the wine is aged for 18 months in 70% new French oak and 30% one-time use French oak. So you will see a lot of character of the oak, you know, like vanilla and that oakiness to the wine. So really looking forward to it, stick with me. Poured myself a half a glass of it to tell you more about the Tempranillo. Very limited production, so I don't know the number of cases produced, but I actually picked up the last 15 cases from the distributor and uh, that is it. I've heard that next year or the next vintage is not going to be distributed by the wine companies it'll be more of the winery direct so if you like the review and if you are interested in booker wine so don't hesitate to buy a case or two it's free shipping i hope you know that looking at the color uh, you can see the legs and um, more of deep deep ruby deep ruby color Let's check the nose. Oh wow, the minerality just pops in. Beautiful. Tar, blue fruits. Nice, nice hint of that tobacco going on. Pipe tobacco, like Swedish pipe tobacco. More meaty. Smokier, like wood smoke, wood smoke coming in. Nice, that sweet spice, that uh, more of like, a, let's use the word, pot pori, pot pori. More meatiness, I would say more like bacon, bacony or bacon fat. Yeah, not that sharp bacon, but bacon fat. Fabulous nose. Let's not wait too much. Mm. Wow. Slightly sweeter toned. The blueberries are very concentrated, you know, like type up there. <clears throat> More cola, cherry cola flavors. That fruitcake, fruitcake comes to me. Smokier in character. It's on the back tone, you know, back palate, but Wow, impressive. Bright, very well balanced. 
the finish is oh long you know being tempranillo i always have that it has that funk and i totally get it here the tannins are smooth that is what i expected nothing robust nothing gripping your palate i would pair this one with uh, more of like pork pork would be my 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 go to normally go with like pork belly or pork chops that 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 smell of that pork would would really complement the complement the wine or the wine would complement the food whichever way it depends if you are a foodie or if you're a wine guy you know if an, if this or that but you should definitely try this as i said the ratings were hum humongous the supply is very down um we scored a few cases uh take advantage of the price point and the free shipping cheers